What's up everyone? Technic here. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've made a video, but I'm in the process of moving or <laughs> preparing to move from Japan all the way back to America where I'm originally from. So uh, things have been a little bit hectic. You know, I got schoolwork and everything, but I'm happy to uh, be able to drop a video when I can. But uh, in this, today's video, um, I kind of want to set the record straight on a lot of uh, misconceptions when it comes to the uh, app that we know and love, uh, Vita Shell or Molecular Shell, depending on uh, which custom firmware that you're actually on. Um, they're both essentially the same thing. See, I, I even have a Molecular Shell over here. If I were to enter into it, it would look exactly like a Vita Shell. But the first thing that I did want to point out um, when it comes to Vita Shell. Uh, not usually, but sometimes when you do initially install custom firmware on your PS Vita, let's say if I were to just go into Vita Show, um, sometimes people see just their UX0 folder and at the top left corner they see that it says like safe mode. Uh, if this is the case and you probably just like installed uh, custom firmware, whether it's temporary or permanent, um, all you're going to do is just make sure that you go into your settings and after you do your uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you're on a permanent custom firmware but if you're on temporary custom firmware obviously do your uh, uh, HN core first and then you're going to have Nkaku settings but you're going to first go into Nkaku settings and make sure that enable unsafe homebrew is checked uh, essentially that a safe, a safe mode is your uh, PS Vita basically being in safe mode, not using any kind of uh, custom firmware plugins, which is why only one folder in your uh, Vita shell would be uh, showing. If you enable unsafe mode, then every single one of your uh, directories in your PS Vita or PS TV will be shown. And uh, just to kind of show y'all, if <laughs> if you're not uh, used to mo uh, Molecule Shell, if I were to go into it, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> the exact same thing as uh, Vita Shell. Vita Shell is, was the uh, upgraded version of Molecule Shell. Uh, Vita Shell actually added um, USB support. Mo Molecule Shell is only uh, FTP transfer only. So I'm going to go back into Vita Shell. And I'm going to talk about a few things. So um, just right off the bat, the GRO0 the OS0, the PD0, the SA0, the TM0, the UD0, the VD0, and the VS0. I don't want you to ever touch those folders. So again, I'm going to repeat it. The GR0, OS0, PD0, SA0, TM0, UD0, VD0, and VS0. Do not touch those folders. Those version, those folders are internally for your PS Vita. If you were to mess with any of those folders, you would probably mess up your PS Vita for like <laughs> for for the rest of its existence. It'll it'll most likely stop working or not work correctly like ever again, unless you find some kind of way to replace the exact same folder and files inside of it with the <laughs> files that's needed. So. Do not mess with those photos. You have been warned. You will 100% <laughs> irreplaceably mess up your PS Vita. The only folders that you are going to uh, worry about, however, is the UR0 and the UX0. Um, there is one more folder in a case that you have a um, SD to Vita. It's going to be called the UMA0. So the UMA0 is just an extra storage uh, folder for it's for the SD to Vita, but in uh, most cases, your uh, UMA0 and UX0, you probably s set it up to like switch around or to switch both directories. So your SD to Vita would be the UX0 and your UX0 would be turned into the UMA0, which is pretty uh, common. I've, I've actually done it to a lot of my PS Vitas. So as you can see, I don't have an SD to Vita, so I don't have a UMA0. This is actually a uh, PS TV and... Um, the coolest thing about a PS TV is if you have a PS4 controller, you can actually use a little pointer for the touchscreen. 
And um, if you want to know how I'm, how I'm recording on the uh, PS TV, I would be happy to make an entire video on it. Um, a lot of people are not going to like the way that you actually have to record a uh, gameplay on the PS TV, but luckily there is a easier and far more cheaper <laughs> method to record on the uh, PS PS Vita. So um, I'll, I'll be making a video for both of those. But let me go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. So the UR0 is mostly the folder for your plugin. So if I were to go into the app folder, there's not going to be much there. If I were to go into app meta, there's going to be app meta data there. But um, I don't I don't want you to worry about any of these folders right here, except the tie folder. Now, the tie folder is where your all your plugins go. So if I were to go into the tie folder. As you can see, you got a uh, max spoofer, non PDRM, refood, sharp scale. That that's a, a PSD or PSDB thing. Um, but as you can see, most of the plugins that you get from Auto Plugin or Auto Plugin Two is going to be in here. If I were to go into and I'm I'm an old school, <laughs> I'm old school with the PSV to modding, so I'm I'm a <laughs> I, you used to have to enter all of the plugins in this uh, config.txt, but let me back out. So the config.txt is now uh, what your auto plugin writes into here. So the plugins that are uh, SUPRX and SKPRX that you see, sorry, I have a pointer, that you see down here. These are all written inside of the config.txt, so they will actually work. If they're not written inside of the config.txt, they're not going to work, just straight up. And I've, as you can see, just for example, this is the non PDRM SKPRX. But as you can see, the directory says UR0 tie, stating that the file is in the UR0 tie. I just want you to be aware of that because. In the past, I've I've had some issues, uh, or I've not I've had some issues. Well, I've I've had some issues, and other people have had some issues where their uh, plugins just don't work. And I tell them, well, look at the config.txt. What does it say? And sometimes it says UX0 tie non PDRM, which I'm going to get to that in a second. And a lot of people are not going to like <laughs> what I say when it comes to that either, but. The sooner you make the migration, the sooner your PS Vita will actually start uh, working correctly. Because sometimes it might not be, and this might be the reason why. So let me go ahead and back out. Now, as I've stated in the UR0, there is a tie folder. Now, let me go into my UX0. Uh, in other people's cases, it might be U UMA0 or whatever, but again, this is the UX0. I'm talking about the UX0 right now. So I'm going to go into the UX0, and I'm going to scroll down. Now, if you're doing the same with your PS Vita, I want you to take notice that there is no tie folder in my UX0. There is no tie folder in my UX0. There should not be a tie folder in your UX0. The reason why I'm saying that is because the UR0 is strictly for plugins, which is why there's a tie folder right there. And usually, when you hack your or when you install custom firmware on your PS Vita for the first time, you are probably going to and granted they have probably fixed this in later versions, which I've which I'm starting to see now, which is good. But if you're watch if you're following like old tutorials or whatever, um nine times out of ten, you're gonna have that tie folder in your UX zero. I want you and I'm not gonna delete my folder right now, I'm just showing an example. I want you to do me a favor and the UX0 and your PS Vita might reset, but it is necessary. Um, go to press triangle and delete that tie folder in the UX0. Um, what you're going to have to do is basically migrate all of your plugins to UR0, and it's very easy to do, by the way. It's very easy to do. Um, for the people that are on a temporary custom firmware, we have to use H Encore or. <laughs> Trinity, obviously people still use Trinity Custom Firmware too. If you're using all that, um, for the people that are on temporary custom firmware, I just I just highly recommend that you move on to uh, making your custom firmware permanent because it's just going to be better for you in the long run. You can do so much more with permanent custom firmware and uh, 
the firmware that I always recommend is a uh, 3.60 because it's just easier to uh, recover if anything like bad happens to your PS Vita. Nine times out of ten, it won't. But on that rare occasion, it does. It's easier to recover all your stuff if you're on 3.60. But um, that type order again, it's only supposed to be in the UR0. Your config.txt is only supposed to be in the UR0. Uh, I sometimes get a lot of comments saying that my uh, all my plugins aren't working or you know my games aren't working or whatever. You might want to check that UX0. You might have that extra TIE folder in there. Um, the reason why it's a big issue is because if you have a TIE folder in the UR0 and a TIE folder in the uh, UX0, remember, both folders will have a config.txt in the uh, same like in, in both TIE folders. Both of those config.txts will be conflicting with each other and a lot of your plugins or more, sometimes all of your plugins will end up not working because both config.txt files are conflicting with each other because both of them are trying to enable plugins at the same time. So if your PS Vita isn't working right, um, you might want to check that. That's it's like the biggest uh, most common issue that I've seen when people install custom firmware on their PS Vitas. Um, secondly, if you just have a TIE folder and your UX0 only, you definitely need to change that. You 100% need to change that. So, uh, the easiest way to do it, um, if I were to back out, the easiest way to do it is to uh, get Auto Plugin 2. I believe I have it on this one. Yeah, to get auto plug into, um, if y'all really want, I will 100% leave the uh, VPK, the VPK in the uh, description so y'all can download it. But basically, you would be changing your directory to where all your plugins go, and it'll go to the UR0 instead of the UX0. Um, I'm actually gonna show y'all that uh, really quick, just for future reference. If my auto plugin has an update because I haven't turned on this PSTV in a long time, I apologize, but it doesn't look like it's going to. So if I go to Vita plugins and install plugins, if you had a if you had two tie folders, um, it would actually say in that top left or top right corner right here, and I'm so glad I can point to it. In that top right corner right there, it would say UR0 and UX0. And there will be an extra button down here saying like you can like change directories or whatever. You would just have to change the directory to the UR0. And then after you install all the plugins that you needed, then that's when you delete that TIE folder in the UX0. Okay. Only after you do this. Only after you do this. That's the biggest thing. Only after you do that. After you install all the plugins in your UR0, you're good to go to delete the TIE folder in the UX0. So, most important thing. Um, nine times out of ten, just just knowing this information, and I don't know, it's 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 fairly simple, but it's it's also very very important. Just knowing that information alone will save you a lot of headache when you're using your PS Vita. It will save you a whole bunch of headache. And this is coming from me, like, I have hacked probably, no, I still ain't no problem. I, I've, I've literally installed custom firmware on about 36 PS readers now. Um, one PS TV, well, well, the one I have now, that, that one's a little bit more uh, complicated with the same, same stuff. But um, this is from, like, gears of troubleshooting, you know, wondering why things are going wrong, you know, reading forums, everything. And like like I said, I've I've been tagging PS Vitas like since the beginning when the flow like released the first <laughs> the first like official official custom firmware. But even then, back then, um, it 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 goes even even farther uh, back from that. But uh, that's that's honestly just wanted I wanted <laughs> wanted to come up and uh, talk to you about in this video. Uh, I see a lot of comments with a lot of people having errors uh, when it comes to like install custom firmware and everything, or when it comes to having errors after you install the custom firmware. 
you might want to check those uh, folders in the UR0 and UX0. You might have those uh, two, two type folders inside of there, and that might be conflicting with each other. So, most important thing to take from this video make sure you are on unsa in unsafe mode. Do not touch any of these folders unless it is the UR0, the UX0, or the UMA0 if you have an S2 DaVita. Make sure that there is a TIE folder in your UR0 and make sure that there isn't a TIE folder in your UX0. And if you have a TIE folder in both of your uh, UX0 and UR0, again, go to Auto Plugin 2 after you install it if you don't have it, by the way. Go to Auto Plugin 2. Go into Auto Plugin 2, go to Vita Plugins. Put under the wrong thing, go to Vita Plugins. Go to Install Plugins. Uh, also, uh, check if you have any uh, plugin updates. Like I said, I haven't turned this on in a long time. And it's not it's not there for me, by the way, but it'll be like a button command somewhere around here saying, like, change uh, directories. Press that button and just make sure that your UR0 is like highlighted in green. Um, that's how you know when the directory is selected. It'll be like highlighted in green. But that's all I have for today. Um, I definitely want to make a lot more regular uploaded uh, videos. Um, I'm starting to see a whole bunch of new homebrews uh, <laughs> popping up. I'm starting to see a whole bunch of new uh, VBKs popping up. And also, there's a lot of things that I do want to talk about as far as like the day-to-day -day usage of your PS Vita. I still want to make um, a troubleshooting video for PKGJ because I see a lot of people uh, having errors with that. Um, I want to make an updated uh, custom firmware install video, and I have a lot more videos planned after that. But uh, thank y'all for watching this video um if you have any questions and i mean if you have any questions any video ideas for me that i can do whether it's like reviews or anything i would be happy to respond um thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video